Just talking to you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, here now with Gabby Ruffles after her round of the Fur Hill Sari Pak Championship. Gabby, just kind of take us through the week and what were some of the highlights out there? Yeah, such a special week. Um, considering that kind of back nine on Friday, I was outside the cut line. So um, had a really, really good weekend and kind of managed the wind. And um, it was such a special week to be here at Palos Verdes with my family close by and to kind of have my best result in a LPGA event. Um, and, you know, to what does that say kind of about either your game, where it's at, your mental fortitude to be on outside the cut line, but then work your way up and really shoot up the leaderboard? I mean, top five finish uh, looking like. So what, what does that kind of say about either your game or your, your mental fortitude? Yeah, no, I think this course requires a lot of mental toughness. I feel like, you know, no hole can be um, left for granted out there. Like, it, it's very, very tough out there. Um, and no, I was just really happy with my mental this week for sure and how I kind of remained tough and, um, you know, battled back and then had a really good weekend. Absolutely. Uh, were you aware of the situation when you chipped on to 18, uh, if you needed the birdie or not? And if so, what was kind of the mindset as you were, you know, looking over the ball? I actually really was not aware of that. I saw on 16 green that Nelly was at 11. So um, I actually really didn't know what the situation was up until that point. And then, um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened the last couple holes, but then I saw before my putt that nine under was the lead. Um, so I didn't realize that I, you know, I mean, standing over the putt, I did realize that that was to get into a playoff. Um, and it's cool. It's, it's really cool to be in that situation. And unfortunately, you know, didn't make the putt, but thought I hit a pretty good putt. And, um, yeah, I mean, super, super proud of the, the week for sure. Southern California grad, what's it like kind of being back, you know, not home home, but, you know, a second home as, as most are as they go off to college? What's it what's kind of been the, the support you've gotten this week and, and just kind of maybe the comfortability you've had? For sure. I mean, so much support. Um, this is definitely a home away from home. I mean, I went to school half an hour away. My coach came out here. I saw him on 10, give him a big hug, Justin from USC. So that was really cool. Um, a couple of the USC girls came out as well. And um, yeah, a couple of teammates were out and, um, and my family lives close by. My mom grew up in this area and my whole kind of extended family was out here. I think even my grandparents, which was really special. So, um, I mean, just having that support, it just really kind of carried me through today. Absolutely. And then, you know, uh, just a couple of events into your into your rookie season, um, obviously not your first starts on the LPGA Tour, but where do you kind of feel like your game is at and maybe even compared to last year? Yeah, no, I feel like I'm, I'm definitely playing well. Um, came off a good week in China. Um, you know, not, not a great start to the year, I guess, in Bradenton. Um, but, you know, worked hard these past couple of weeks, and I really feel like, you know, my game is in a good place. And, um, you know, just kind of goes to show this week and excited for the next couple of weeks. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you.